fun. out about Mark from his blog. His blog is about him converting his 914 to electric. Take a look at 914electric.wordpress.com. I've been reading one of his blogs a day and taking notes. I literally have a Google Doc full of notes from his blogs. I just took a drive with Mark Brems. Some of you know him as Night 14 Electric. So what's under here? Well, uh, I have my batteries under here. This is one third of the pack, and then the other two thirds are back in the motor bay with the electric motor. These are the old prismatic cells. These are used by Telcom, uh, Verizon, Sprint, T-Mobile. So that's why when the power goes out, you always have cell service because batteries are making the cell towers run. So if they're good enough for all those cell phone companies, they're way good enough to put in an electric vehicle. But these are 10 years old. So, so this car was converted 10 years ago. So um, they're still delivering six, 65 miles the way they did when the car, when I first built it. So they've held up really, really well. But these are old school. So what's the new school ones? Uh, new school batteries are in my next project. This is uh, a 1975 914. This car is going to have Tesla modules in it. Those are Tesla batteries that come out of a Model S. So where are you going to put those Tesla modules in this car? You know what, it's going to be similar to this car where some of them are going to be in front and some are going to be alongside the motor. So that keeps an even weight distribution between the front and back and the car is going to handle, handle like really well and corner really well. Here we have a battery box right here, and that's going to have two Tesla modules in it here. There'll be another one right here alongside it, so that's a total of four in the back. In the front are the last set of Tesla modules that are going to go in this box right here. So basically, right in there. Tesla modules are the batteries, correct? That's right, yeah. So yeah, the batteries that come out of a Tesla, we call them modules. There's 16 of them in a Model S. So we're only going to put seven in this car because we don't need that many. Why seven modules? Okay, so a Tesla has 16 and that motor runs at 400 volts. But the motor I have in here runs at 175 volts. So each one of those modules is 25 volts approximately. So seven of them equals 175 volts. That's exactly the voltage that this motor needs to run on. So you have to match your, the voltage of your battery pack to the voltage of the motor. So what motor would you use for seven batteries? Uh, we're going to use a Hyper 9. It's a synchronous permanent magnet reluctance motor. Synchronous permanent Magnet Reluctant Motor? Synchronous Permanent Magnet <laughs> Reluctance Motor! And they make a low voltage and a high voltage. The low voltage is 125 volts, which would be five Tesla modules. That means that the motor, unlike the motor in here, which is an inductance motor, it actually has permanent magnets in it. So it actually makes it a little more efficient. And it runs at 175 volts, which is the perfect pack voltage for, for seven Tesla modules. And that's this motor right here. Very roomy. <laughs> Whoa, I didn't realize there was room for another human being in there. <laughs> Maybe you could put a car seat in here. <laughs> ah, I was thinking of like a deck for a golf bag or something. <laughs> Maybe a wet bar. Ha <laughs> ha But that's not for kids. This is the Hyper 9 high voltage motor. You're going to have your three-phase cabling right here. 
and you're going to have the controller up here on this side, right? Most of the high voltage cabling, you have to connect the boxes together, is going to go through the tunnel. So it's going to go all the way to the front of the car and connect to the front box. Well, I should probably let you get back to this project. Thank you so much for like taking me under your ring and making those blogs so I can read it and put the stuff in the blog into my project and learn more about it. You know something, that's the reason why I did the blog. It's, it's to inspire and it's just such like an honor to watch you go through the same process and learn and build your own electric vehicle. That's like a dream come true for me. So, thank you. I can't come all the way down to San Diego without catching some waves. So I am going to go to the beach and I will see you sometime soon. Oh my god. What a little lady. To the beach! <laughs>